Hello everyone, my name is Travis, and welcome back to the Beast Inside. Finally, finally, we've made it back to where we were supposed to be to begin with. That didn't honestly take all that long, because now that I knew where everything was at and I had my own self-made guide through the game, basically, didn't really have to worry about a thing. So, now that we're back here, let's just... Let's just make the most of what we got, man. Oh yes, I want you to check out all my kerosene and all my matches, all of that. Also, I discovered, um, back in a previous episode when I was trying to escape from an office and, like, got chased by monsters in the inn. Here, I'll show the clip. Oh, fuck! Ah! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, shit, I should have knocked that over. Yeah, in, in that segment, um, there was something I could have thrown down in front of the door in order to stop them from getting to me, and I was like, oh, I wonder if I'd thrown that down, yada yada. I did that. I didn't record me going back through that part, unfortunately, but uh, I discovered some extra pieces of, of, like, notes and stuff there. So, um, it wasn't anything too much, really, but it was some kind of jewelry, some kind of necklaces talking about, um, a woman named Someone Madeline. nailed Maria's dog here to scare her? I just hope she herself is alive. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that lost episode, so to speak, where I uh, went through and unlocked all those boxes, because that was... <laughs> you creepy bitch. Um... Well, anyway, let's just move on. Let's just move forward and forget that whole mess ever happened. I really need to get back into Subnautica, but I've just been so focused on trying to get back to this that I didn't even want to bother. Like, this this took a chunk out of me. My morale was here. Like, you can't even see it. It was so high. And then it just went... Okay, I'm sorry. Give me a sec. And, uh, yeah, and then it just went boom, you know, took, it just took a major chunk out of me. I, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't bear the thought of having to do it again, but it took about two and a half hours and we're good. There's the other side of where we were, um, when the monsters were chasing us, those water creatures. Man, this is kind of loud, isn't it? You know, every time I see a dark well like that tucked away into a shadowy corner, I'm like... I always think of the ring, and I don't know why. It's just weird. Oh, God. I already went through this, and that still scared the shit out of me. No one has lived here for years. The woman claims she knew our family's dark secret. I have no idea what the hell she meant, but maybe there's something left. Some records, anything. I'll search the place while I'm here. Right, um, so I've already been through this part, so basically this is just gonna end up being like a walkthrough of the area. It's not gonna take too long. Kinda creepy in some instances, makes me uncomfortable in others, but, uh, yeah. I've already been through this, so I'm not gonna waste my time. You! How dare you come here? Go away! In the name of Christ, be gone, Satan! And this crazy bitch chases after you. Woo! And she is a crazy bitch. Alright. <laughs> Before I leave, I should look for some kind of written record. Maria might have left notes about the events from the past. I just need to make sure she doesn't see me. Sorry, I should let y'all read this. I'm not gonna read this, I've already read it. Never mind. Ain't gave me no penny, the greedy bastard, and he set that judge of his son on me, of, of his on me too. He came here and said if I keep bothering him, then I'll be sorry. Them I'll be sorry. So what am I to do? That old drunkard, my late husband, may he never rest in peace. 
Gave up any claims of compensating in his contract. Sold him for a few bottles if I know him. But they better not try to scare me. Told the judge I know it all. The blast in the mine was regular murder, and the hides are always scheming and scamming. I never forget what Jacob's father did to me, and now I can see Jacob is a hundred times worse. The judge only laughed. I won't let him get away with it. Ha, ah, the hides days are numbered. They'll regret they skimped a few bucks for me when my no-good husband kicked the bucket. I ain't asked for much because I'm a simple and modest woman. I ain't got a penny even though it's a long time since that family owes me. Ever since that old fart father or old hide hit me so hard I miscarried. Today there's that de detective coming and I will sing it all. He can feel the hides are sneaky bastards and he'll have the evidence. Thank you, oh lord. Okay. Those are two notes. You know, despite how escape the Lord's punishment, sins will be revealed. Despite having done this already, I'm still like antsy when it comes to stepping on these boards. Because I'm like It's like some kind of pathological or like psychological thing. It's like every time I see things like that in a game, I'm like, no, that shit's gonna crumble underneath me. You think I'm gonna do that? You're crazy. Mr. Walter Gilman, dear sir. So on and so forth, that's a lot of text. Go ahead and pause the video to read it if you please. I'm moving forward. Thank you so much for your understanding. And we've got a necklace, a rosary with some blood on the back. Let's, let's give that one back to her actually. Let's see if she wants it. Probably does. If your eye causes you to sin, gouge it out. It doesn't sound like a very that sounds kinda like something Papa Noth would say. Speaking of Papa Noth, Outlast 2. I haven't played that game on this channel. I don't know if I will though. I mean I have beaten it like three times over. It just wouldn't really be scary. It'd more just be like a quick Dad, run through. The door's locked, and I can't lock pick it. Mia always has the key on her. Maybe if I'm careful enough, I can steal it from her. Yeah, maybe. Also, I asked a question a long ass time ago, like, what, where did my matches go? What's happening? You know, because my match count kept going down. Uh, well, it turns out that, uh, yeah, when you light candles, you use a match. Who would have thought? I never noticed until now. Also, Hell on wheels, those damned hides. What a wicked family. Holy mother of God, only you can understand me. I always wanted to be a good person that wishes harm on no one. But I ain't got so much mercy in my heart. Turn the other cheek to those sons of bitches. When there was a blast in the mine and my boozer husband got buried there, I ain't asked for no more than a small compensating. And what I got... This must be the last note. Time to leave. Oh, I thought there were... just an abandoned house. Something terrible has happened here. I can feel it. The evil here is palpable. That woman has been dead for a long time, and she won't rest until she kills me. I must get out of here as fast as I can. Dear Lord, dear Lord, I pray to thee. So basically what happens is Maria, the, the crazy zombie lady, follows a very specific path through the house. And she is so easily avoidable. Like, if that door was open right there, I probably could have grabbed the key and been done with this whole section. But I'm not that fast. <laughs> I'm not that smooth. So uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna show you the. I'm gonna show you the. The travesty way of doing things. The Travis way of getting things done. She runs from here up through this hallway. You don't even need to sneak. Enemies don't know shit. They they aren't gonna know a damn thing. So she runs up through this hallway, comes and stands in here for a minute. I'll read that in a sec. Right in the center of this room. Okay. Uh, I'll get the instructions to you in a minute. This is our prayer. Don't you feel safe? God will get you. You lousy scum, two-faced bastards, traitor scoundrels, and cheapskates. God will get you and may judge keep- uh, May the judge drop dead along with the hides. May all of their cursed families suffer sevenfold retribution. Give them a curse like Cain's, O Lord. May they and their children and their children's children pay for what happened in Blackstone. What they did in the dark, may it be known. Lord. I got an achievement. Collect all notes as Nicholas. 
I've already been through this section. How is it possible that I got this now? That's... Okay. Let's just take a step back. Okay, so she she's standing right in the middle of this room right now. Now she's run around the corner here. Into this area. And she's about to move. I might not have enough time to get the key before she does. No, fuck! Okay, well, I almost got it, but not quite. And then she walks over there, and she basically just repeats the cycle of going from there over to here and back into here. Well, at least this area. It doesn't come into here, but, you know. She, oh yeah, I should also mention she alternates how fast she moves, and she can also stand in here and do shit. Um, so she will, like, start sprinting at some point, from point to point. Okay. She's calmed down, she's waiting, she's right here. The key is mine. I'm gonna wait for her to move. There we go. We are one step closer to being out of here. Now we just need to wait for her to move one more time and then we're fucking scot-free. Then we're out of here. We don't have to deal with that crazy bitch. There she goes. For you know what they have done. For we are one, we are one. Yeah, there she goes. Okay. Alright. I've walked through this door before trying to get back down to see if there was another note. And she was standing right on the other side looking me in the eyes. So, uh, we're avoiding that this time around. She apparently stops chasing you as soon as you enter that room though because she didn't even bother. So, um, yeah, that was this segment. It honestly wasn't as hard as I thought it was. Her pattern's really easy to learn. That's the thing about this game, is it's kind of scary because the jump scares get you, but when you're actually encountered with, with, like, the entities themselves, like the monsters that actually walk around the tunnels or in the house, Maria, the guys from the mines, they all have a set path, and it's so easy to learn. You know, it's not dynamic, it's very static. So it's not hard to, like suck it up and, and, you know, get over it. But anyway, we've wasted enough time fooling around here. And you're about to see something very special, something I've never seen any protagonist in a horror game do ever in our life. Okay, I've never exactly examined this before. Yeah, apparently it didn't help much. But yeah, you're about to see something I've never seen any protagonist in any horror game ever even do before in my life. I've never seen this happen, so keep your eyes open. What have you seen? Tell me! Who killed those people? Who blew up the mine? What is my family secret? Tell me! It wasn't old Hyde. The detective was wrong. It was him who killed the devil himself. Wherever there's violence and tragedy, there's you. Wait! Stop! You hear me? So did you see what I'm saying? Who I've are never you, for God's sake! I've never seen a main character in a horror game grab the monster by the throat and try to fucking strangle them. <laughs> That's new to me. Oh, if you're wondering what's up with the lighting in my area now, I haven't fixed it. That's actually just natural daylight. Uh I do my recordings at night mostly. Um, so yeah, this is a change. I don't have a light blasting in my eyes 100 percent of the time, so you know. It's, uh, kind of nice. Maybe I should do it more often, but I also have a job, which if requires me to wake up, father, and I'm usually at work around this time, so maybe not. And why did he do it? So my theory is that... Who is he? 
Why did he kidnap and murder? What does it have to do with me and my family? My, my theory is that this isn't a separate entity. My theory is that this is like... Because Nicholas is hallucinating a lot of shit and he's deranged and he's remembering things he shouldn't remember, hearing things he shouldn't hear. My think, my thought is, he's probably got some kind of multiple personality thing going on where he's not aware that this other person, this hidden brother, is um actually himself and he did mask. This time I can't let him get away. And he did murder and kill people. Why why would they send him to an insane asylum or like get psychiatric help just for for no reason? You know? That's my theory. Obviously that's probably not true. It's just what I was thinking. Also, how'd you like that Emma Stevenson headstone? That was pretty creepy. I thought that was kind of, uh, kind of strange. No, fuck! Don't do this to me now! Stop! Chapter 11, where we most certainly should- Let me check my recording is going. Okay, I was about to have a fucking panic attack. I was gonna be like, again? This happened again? Really? And that would've been the end of it. I would've been so angry. But, uh, anyway. Yeah. Chapter 11. This is where... This is where I started. I don't know what happens after we get out of the car here. But... Yeah. Yeah, um... So much pain. Son of a bitch! I never thought he would do something like that. It's not just the keys and the messages, he wants to get rid of me. Emma, she stayed at home and he's there with her. I like this flashlight, I like the range on it, it's kinda nice. Anyway, I don't know what comes after this. I literally landed on the beach and then checked my recording and was like, no way. <laughs> so, finally, let's get a going. Christ almighty, it's felt like centuries. I really did not want to play through the game again. House, Emma, just a little more. I can do it. I have to. But it's so good. I wonder if this is where we get to see Adam die. That'd be kind of cool. Kind of creepy, but kind of cool. I wonder if in this universe, like, a nuclear war actually starts. Oh, is that Emma and, uh... Oh, no. Those are just random people. Okay. That's a hallucination. That's not even real. What's going yeah. on? Where is it coming from? A cord of wood out in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. Oh, I guess it's not bumfuck nowhere if it's just outside the house, right? How come I never saw this place? Oh, it's around the side of the house, like near the shed. I can only imagine what's gonna happen Emma? next. Emma! Emma, are you here? That looks like a struggle to me. I'm no detective, but uh... Oh, this looks like... This looks like the way the house was in um... Uh, the very beginning of the game when you played as Nicholas. What's up in here? I don't think I've ever been in here. Nope, never going to get in there apparently. What about in here? Nope. In here? No. Am I gonna get to go up here and get my ass murdered? Or am I gonna get stopped prematurely by a lock? Okay. I got stopped prematurely by a lock.
There's no one in there. That's the shower, apparently. Uh, let me just... Didn't hit anything, Fuck, so I, I guess we're good. It. I'm too late. He's taken her. You had to fight him. I left you at the mercy of that motherfucker. Emma, I should have been here. I should have protected you. So what now? Do we pull out our handy dandy- the Traces oh. are leading to the basement. Where did he drag her? That Our wall. Oh. Why? The wall. Oh. There used to be a door. Okay, there is still a door here, but it's not the one we need. The, the wall. The wall next to the fuse box. Uh. They went this way. He knows this house better than I do. Yes! Oh my god! I was... In the recording, oh yeah, that's right, I said that last in the last couple of recordings. I wanted to see what was behind this door. It's about time we finally got to see. The fuck is this all about? Can't make heads or tails of this anymore. If that masked man is my father, but my father's killer, then who is he? Who harmed all those people? Did my father have another child, a bastard son, whom he kept hidden from the world? It's time to finally rip that mask off his face. Is that back at the inn? Why am I back at the inn? Who are you? You won't deceive me anymore. We end this today! I think you mean tonight. Actually... Lots of kerosene. This game said you'd be strapped. In the description, it said you'd be strapped for like... Or did it? Never mind. I'm just gonna close my mouth. I don't know what I'm talking about. If I don't know for a fact what the hell I'm talking about, I shouldn't say anything. This is a great game. It is. And we're gonna leave it at that. For now. Until something happens that fucks up and I get angry again. Then I'll criticize the shit out of it. I am just speeding through this, aren't I? I should probably take it slow, but I just want more. I feel like I'm right at the edge of the game. Like, like the game's about to end and I'm just right there on the edge. On the cusp, overlooking the ending. There's the inn again. This is where I ran through with the pistol last time. Pistol should still be on the floor in here, if I remember correctly. So many victims. I still have no idea who's behind the mask. I can't let him slip away. Only he knows the truth about what happened. He entered, he entered the inn. I'm right behind him. Soon I will have my answers. Oh. Looks like things are finally going to shit. Close How is that least. possible? What's happening to me? It's not possible. Unless this is just an underground path. Judge Norton, why am I seeing him again? Poor old scoundrel. I never wished you well, Norton. But this... It was him, Jacob. It, it was him. Who? In the mine. That was also him. I'll get you out of here, and you'll tell me everything. Hold on. This way, quickly. Oh, God damn it! He's back! I told you time and time again, you snot, you can't come in here! This is a job for grown men. They go deep underground, drilling and sweating away in the dark to extract the ore from the earth. You only get in their way! 
Wh why does it all come back to me? I must. I must get out of here. Oh, there's the pickaxe. Ah. I'm beginning to piece together what's happening and what's about to happen. The hell? Which way am I supposed to go? I feel like I'm about to die. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's death, all right. So, could I not just technically drop down? Wait a minute. I ended up up top. Oh, I have to get the, um... I have to get the pickaxe for this? Yeah, I can't move it myself, so I do have to get the pickaxe, I think. Okay. Well, let's make some moves and see what happens, I guess. Okay, there we are. Oh, I get it. Okay, that makes sense. Weird, weird way of doing it, but all right. Pull it, pull it, pull it. There you go. Don't know how it's able to go through the rock like that. There we go. Okay, I guess I don't need that anymore for whatever reason. It's much less of a horror game at this point, more of a discovery game, and I'm okay with that, but it's just it's just strange. Wait, how did Oh, never mind. Never mind. I was going to say how does Adam and Nicholas have the same amount of kerosene and matches? Do you really want to sit in the dark? Do you like breaking rules? Forgive me, Father. It won't happen again. Where to now? Up. Uh, that's gotta be Nicholas. That can't be anybody but. I'm pretty sure I'm right. I'm pretty sure my theory was correct about Nicholas. But I, I don't want to, like, brag about me being right. I'm pretty sure I'm right, but I guess we're just about to find out. Place of torment in the basement of Jacob Hyde's house, not only where not only Norton may have been kept, but also others that went missing near Blackstone in recent years. The suspect's son, Nicholas Hyde, was found in one of the rooms. However, his mental state did not follow allow for interrogation. Young Hyde, deprived of contact with the outside world and likely traumatized, was immediately sent to wait. Immediately sent to a mental asylum in Providence. The sheriff hopes that upon recovery the young man will be able to reveal where his father is hiding from justice. Oh, I got another achievement. Collect all newspaper clippings. All right, sick. And I am just great. We about to meet the man behind the mask? Please, I'll go crazy if you don't let me out. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry, Nicholas. He will be sorry. What? Who's there? We have to help each other. The whole world is against people like us. It's all my fault. No, it's not. It's their fault. And they will pay. Your old man and the others. No, no, no. We cannot think that way. We can do anything. Ever since he said you ruined his life, since he started to lock you up in here, I deserved it. He cheated on her. Did you know? And he didn't want her to have you, the most respected son of a bitch in Blackstone. Stop it! You're confusing me! It's time for revenge. First, I will fuck up the mine. What do you say? I know where the old man keeps the dynamite boxes. This way. This is my chance. The hell? The hell's happening? It has to be some MPD shit. Like, there it can't be any other way. Oh, it's a fuse. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Uh, wow, that's really cool. I like that. Ooh. Hold on one sec. That's a screenshot. You fucking brat. Father, I didn't do it. Stay away from my inn, Nicholas. Don't scare off the guests. Don't steal from the rooms. 
but I've never, I swear to God. How dare you take his name in vain? You have no God in your heart, you damned little shit. Said a hustler with a heart of shit. It's not just things disappearing in this inn, but the guests too. You were supposed to help me, not get me in trouble! People are trouble. You will see that when you finally open your eyes. Now it's time for me to open fire. Woo. Oh shit! What do I what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, okay. I'll just run this way. I'll go this way. Go back. You knew you couldn't escape punishment. Father? How is this possible? <laughs> Blew up the mine! Murdered all those people! John was right! Don't That's come the... any closer! Stay away! That's the machete that Adam has. Woo! And it looks like it's the machete I'm about to have in a minute. He's not gonna get into me. Oh, he's right there! Ah! What? Up, 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 up. Come on, you can make it. There you go. God, my arms would be dead after some shit like that. That drop would yank your arms out of their sockets. Oh, there he is. Okay. Whoop. Where do I go? Coming together. Everything is coming together. Up you go, up you go, Nick. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, baby. Oh shit. Quick time event. Let's go. There we go. That's what I thought. Go, 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 go. He's right on top of you, motherfucker. Oh, he was right on top of me. Yeah, that's what I thought. I knew it was a juke. <laughs> you do not give me two pads. What next? Am I supposed to kill him with an axe? Oh! He's right on top of me. <laughs> and he is an angry boy. He's an angry boy. So I was right. I was right. My theory was correct, and that is super surprising. I was like, dude, I'm probably just taking a shot in the dark here. My father, he has tried to kill me even though he had already died. I know how it might sound, but I am not out of my mind. It happened for real. The inn, the flames, my father. I felt again like a child whose soul was torn into a million pieces and then stitched back together only to bring the never-ending suffering. I only felt that way when he was close to me, so I was sure. It was him again. Now I'm in the basement. I have managed to escape and hid here, but there is no way out from this place, or maybe there is. I hear some noises behind the wall. <coughs> is this really happening? It's happening, bud. You better believe it. What's going on? Where's that voice coming from? I don't know, Buster. I don't know. Right now, Adam! Adam! Emma, Emma, are you here? They're living in like some parallel dimension. It's so weird. It's gonna switch back in a sec. Yep. I must have lost my mind.
There's Mr. X. Good lord. Is it real? Or is it just my imagination? Oh, he sounds I'm like he's losing it. Don't exist. He's losing it. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, Adam's about to fucking trip over his own ball sack. This dude's this dude's got a pretty big sack to come down this way. My god. It's just like there's no coming back. So weird. Finally get to see Nicholas's face. I guess we saw Adam's earlier. It's over. You can't get away. Hear me. You're not going to get away with it. I know what you did. I followed the trail of your crimes. I've been to all the places you've spilled blood. There's just one thing that remains a mystery. Why? That's beyond my grasp. So many people have died. Speak up. Tell me why? The question is, why did you do it? He heard you, I know. And I opened your eyes, and then you saw your father's reflection in every human being, a world full of beasts in human disguises. No one was innocent. Evil was eating at their consciences like a cancer. And who do you think you are to decide if they deserve to die? They certainly didn't deserve to live. They... Just think about it. Your father's partner, that old crook, desperate to get rid of us. The detective, a vulture, feeding on the tragedy of commoners. Sophia, a miner's widow and a vicious bigot who wished everyone all the worst. And last, but not least, the judge, a grafter, and a regular scoundrel. I've seen worse. Right. Your father, a true role model for that small community. I know they were not good people, but what you did to them... I protected us, don't you see? I saved your life. Or maybe you're just a bloodthirsty sadist who looks for guilt in others in order to blot out your own. You know where you would be if it wasn't for me? In that fucking darkness. The old man would be pissing on your grave, and all of fucking Blackstone would still be full of human vermin. Maybe. But that's not an excuse. I don't need one. The choice is simple. You let the vermin spread, and they will take over the world, or you wipe them out, protecting the righteous few. They will call you a lunatic. So what? There must be another way. Like what? You'll wash your hands of it all? You'll hide from humanity in a fucking cave? You'll fall back into madness like the last time? You'll tell the doctors you don't remember anything? Really? If you get rid of me, they'll squash you like a bug. You think you can just snap your fingers and I'll be gone? You will be gone because you depend on me! Your actions were treacherous. You ruined my life, and I can't change that. So you'll become another victim. Hopefully the last one. Well, I had to make a choice. <laughs> How are we doing today? What happened? Why am I in a hospital? Every day, the same question. Which is reason enough to keep you here, isn't it? Not to mention all the rest. My, my, my wife, Emma. She... We're talking about you. Please, focus. Uh, Emma and I were expecting a baby. And some people are trying to... So far, your theories have not been confirmed. Theories? What theories? 
concerning what happened in Blackstone, what happened to your wife, and what they have done. But I was there! They took photos of us, planted bugs. I've been asking you for months, but I'll ask you one more time. Who are they? Am I one of them? Months! Did they tell you to brainwash me? They! Soviets! Ruskies! Commies! Call them whatever you fucking want! There's a fucking war going on! Who in the service has talked to you? Maybe we could... Wait a minute. Who pays you, motherfucker? GRU? KGB? Maybe this will refresh your memory. I've talked to David. We've got Soviet agents in our ranks. Anyone could be a spy, even a close friend or a family member. So? Shh. Maybe all that you told me was a lie. KGB called those women sparrows. They seduced Americans in order to relay information to the Soviet intelligence. Was I really so blinded by love? She won't admit it, but she won't fool me anymore. I'll do what I have to do. You forged a recording. What have, what have you done to my wife? Tell me, you phony. Who are you really? It's not you asking these questions. It's your illness. Your persecutory delusions make you question everything around you. Try to calm down and answer for yourself. Who are you? Adam or Nicholas, like you said the last time? Who am I talking to right now? Are you crazy? I know I had KGB on my heels. I've destroyed your relays. This isn't a fucking hospital. You want to get hold of the information I've got. That's all you care about. Nurse, the patient's conditions got worse again. Let's apply 400 volts. Your turn. Adam! Adam is gone! That's the end of the game. That was insane. Can I that was so cool. That whole experience from beginning to end was like... It had its moments of being frustrating and sometimes tedious. And I complained a few times throughout because some of the things were like... I don't know, abrasive. Kind of repetitive, kind of pointless in some cases. But the story kept me interested. Adam's story and Nicholas's stories I knew they'd tie together somehow, I wasn't sure how. And I didn't know how that intro scene of uh, Emma being killed with an axe or a knife being taken out of Adam's head, I didn't know how that was going to play out. And it certainly didn't play out the way I thought it would. But that was phenomenal. That ending was so cool. I didn't expect anything that happened there. Like, I knew, or I theorized at a point that Nicholas and Adam would be connected somehow. I think I said that in like one of the first episodes was like, I'm pretty sure these people are related somehow. I fucking... Uh, whatever, man. I just, I said so much shit I can't even remember, but it was fucking awesome. And uh, I'm actually kind of upset that the game is over now because I want so much more. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that in a good way. Like I want to see more of this game. I got super into the story as I was playing it. And I liked Adam's side of it, where he was freaking out about the KGB, 
but then it just starts throwing these twists at you. And some people hate games that just shove things in your face, like, in a hurried pace at the end, but to me it was confusing, and I guess that was the whole point, is that Adam and Nicholas were both confused, and were both kind of experiencing the same thing, but two different, you know, two separate situations. So Nicholas was the killer all along, who snuck out of his, his little dungeon, whatever, killed his father, killed the judge, killed some other people in the inn, uh, killed Maria, probably killed that woman, Madeline. We, well, we never got an answer to that one, why she died, but I'm pretty sure it was Nicholas. Adam planted bugs in his own house, um, slashed his own tires. Oh yeah, he was having blackout sequences, that's what was going on. Now I remember. In those blackout sequences, he was slashing his own tires, planting bugs around the house, and killed his own wife. And he... You know, man. It's just crazy. It's just crazy, man. It's a really crazy story. And now it's come to an end. And that's kind of sad. But... I, uh... I don't think I'm going to be going back for a second ending. Because I kind of like the way this one ended. I'm sure there's a different way, a different scene altogether. Because um, there are two choices at the end you have to make. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, if the game starts back up at the end, like, I'll probably take that option. Oh, hold on. Looks like Nicholas got a... What is that supposed to mean? Oh, does that mean we're gonna get a, a second maybe or an expansion of some kind? Because that would be nice. This game was phenomenal. I got three achievements for that ending too. What the hell? I don't know. Let me check. Okay, just for beating the game. There were two others I got. I don't know why, but um... Yeah, anyway, that was just super, super awesome. Oh, and it deletes your save, so you have to go back through the whole game to get the other ending. Okay, well, it looks like I'm not going to be doing the other ending right now. Or at all. I mean, if you want to see what the other ending is like, you can buy the game for yourself, play it. It's not that long. Like I said, me speed running through it from the moment that I lost my progress took me about two and a half hours, three hours maybe. And from there, you saw the rest of the game. That only took, like, another hour. So altogether, the game comes out to about four hours if you run through it really, really fast. And that's just, you know, it's such a phenomenal game. And sure, I have my... Some moments of it I didn't like. Some moments of it, yada, yada, yada. You've already heard all of it. But I have to say that it was... Phenomenal. It was scary... It had jump scares, it had an extremely interesting story that I didn't think I'd like, but ended up liking as I got deeper into it. The puzzles were okay, sometimes a little bit difficult, um, but that's probably because I'm just stupid. And um, yeah, it was just great. It was a great game. And for 20 bucks, that's, uh, that's good. It's a lot of content, a lot to soak in. So, if you want to experience the ending for yourself, I'll put a link in the description to the game. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please like and comment on it, subscribe to stay updated with the channel, share the videos to spread the good word, and I'll see you in the next video. Might be Subnautica, might be Resident Evil, I'm not really sure. But after this, I'm gonna have to find another horror game to play. And that might be Visage, although that game's not finished yet. And I played like 10 minutes of it, and uh, I'm just gonna say that it's probably the scariest game I've ever touched in my entire life. Like, uh, no holds barred, or whatever you want to say, whatever that saying is. Uh, yeah. 
That game is like my nightmare. Take care.